I am here in high canvas now. Here I don't have any advanced restart button. Let's press the power off and select here. Now press the volume up key and power button simultaneously until it boots into recovery. Once the Poco logo, Poco logo appear, remove the power button. I mean the finger on power button. Continuously press the volume up button until you will boot in recovery. As you can see, I am using here the latest recovery TWRP for Poco X3. I recommend to use this recovery only. And as usual, go to wipe and select advanced wipe and Dalvik catcher data. Select those things and swipe to wipe. And again, go into install select the storage micro sd card into the downloaded files first flash the firmware here surya global 12.5.4 as you can see flash it after that again come back to install and select the octave os version 3.0 official this rom zip file it takes a little bit of time to flash the rom ROM has been flashed successfully. Again, go to here, wipe and select format data and press Y. Yes, I mean type Y. Yes, and select this tick mark. Again, go to reboot system. this here octave is 3.2 and poco x3 in this video you will be seeing the bugs features and performance of bgma and day-to-day -day performance battle life everything will be explained in this video stay tuned till the end of the video and the sampathy watching sampathy fx youtube channel and if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button and also follow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like guys i will be motivated to make similar kind of videos let's begin the video Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video guys. This is Sampathy watching Sampath Sanfx YouTube channel and this is Octavivo S3.2 official for Poco X3 with 5th December 2021 latest security patch with Android 12 Octavivo S version 3.2 and the kernel used here is 4.14.246 and this is December 20 latest build and Linux status is M4 Sync and you can read here the build number and this is the octave os 3.2 on this poco x i have been running cpu throttling test from last five minutes as you can see i have never seen such a cpu throttling test like this peaks you can observe here the maximum is 150 average is 138 and minimum is 115 in my channel you can check out in any rom videos like this peaks i have never seen but let's see how is the actual performance but i'm using like already 12 hours now but i have ne never noticed any problems but let's see why it is happening and we'll be seeing the bgma gameplay also and this is how the app drawer and icons are given and this is a quick settings panel you can edit from here you can check out there are like dirac sound settings also available let's add that okay and coming to widgets you will get under 12 widgets that's not a problem as you can see i don't think it is under 12 widget it's missing here that's the one thing i have noticed and there is no wallpapers also here as you can see there are no pre-installed pre wallpapers this is how the app drawer and the screens comes and coming to like the Geekbench scores let me show you here as you can see the single score is 543 and multi score is 1542 the kernel used here is Linux 4.14.246 this is the kernel used and let's see the dialer we will get this kind of dialer here if I can direct video call feature is available in this room and the good thing is call recording is also available it won't notify to other person that call is getting recorded that's the good thing in this rom 
and comment like widget it's missing in this rom uh, do comment down below is there any way to get back those widgets comment in the comment section below and next is the safety net status that's the official build for poco x3 yes you will get past safety net status you can use like gpay phone pay any other payment applications which are working fine not a problem at all and whatsapp is also working fine in this rom and coming to drm info in this rom you will get level 1 certification such that you can watch all the ott application in hd resolution which is not a problem i mean hd content can be watchable in ott applications which is not a problem and there is no camera application installed here i will go into file manager into the sd card download nikta gcam you need to give the permission here allow from this source install takes little bit of time yeah, guys do comment in the comment section which is the gcam port you will use i will be adding the same thing but this in nikta gcam is mostly working in all the roms give the permission and then go into the settings from here go into configs and save the xml such that the folder will be created if you want you can manually create also but this is a easy one go into file manager again select these three xml files here if you have anything other than that then those things will be working fine you go to internal storage select gcam as you can see this the folder has been created add these xml files here and open again the camera application select this area between the shutter button and the preview button if you select that you will get option to choose the xml files select one among them i will be choosing this one and restore that's all good to go the camera application is working fine gcam if you want you can use anx camera also and coming to speed test in this rom i have here like 100 mbps plan it's pulling up to 90 like that it's fine not a problem in this rom even the mobile internet is also working fine from here you can choose whether to connect mobile internet or wifi and run that's the android 12 looks and let's move into the settings panel and these all the minimum changes you can see here as you can see there is like octaview os has been written date and time and up to how much level of battery will be obtained and this is the power button you will get advanced restart button is also given in this rom going into the settings as you can see here you will get owner info network and internet connected devices passwords and accounts and octaview lab here are the plenty of customization has been given you can check out here status bar customizations you can change the battery settings from here carrier label so many things are given i already explained in several videos about this octaview os you can check out nothing new here notifications also and octaview theming is also given monet customization you can enable or disable from of the custom color options white luminance chroma factor you can adjust from here those things are given and navigation menu also given gestures these things are given double tap on lock screen to sleep double tap status bar to put the device to sleep all these things are given in this from lock screen visualizer and miscellaneous settings you'll get this kind of settings no gaming mode or anything like that in this from and coming to battery style as you can see 1 hour 48 minutes and 1 hour 15 minutes the screen run time from last 12 hours also kept for like starting you can see here idle battery drain is also very less in this rom this all the applications i have been using it's fine the battery life is going to be better in this rom and let's go into the dark mode let's see how it looks it's not pitch black condition as you can see it's little bit gray type this how it looks in the uh, pitch black condition you can disable from here you all get these kind of options in display settings all are working fine minimum refresh rate maximum refresh rate is also given you can adjust from here and lcd features are also given display cutout also you can change plenty of options are given and these all the settings you will get like this 
it's arranged like this icon is been moved to right side and the text is in left side little bit new definitely appreciated something new or different from any other rom is definitely appreciated very good thing i have noticed and in the sound settings you will get all the basic settings you can enable or disable from here even the vibration haptic feedback also you can enable or disable from here me sound enhancer is given i mean the direct sound settings you can enable the headphone type and also choose the preset from here this how the me sound enhancer and coming to like app settings you get all the default apps you can choose from here the launcher used here is the i mean home app launcher you can change if you want and special app access you can read here some of the options you can change from here that's there and there is no bubbles feature i guess in the connect notification settings okay in the notification settings okay bubbles features are given in this room you need to check out from here the print of options enhanced notification is also given and the accessibility menu and the toll type as you can see it's easy to operate if you press this one you can use the volume button brightness print of options you can check out from here that's not a problem and into the security you will just get a fingerprint unlock no face unlock pattern unlock is given only two type of unlock and i will show you the fingerprint speeds here as you can see it's fast enough nothing great but even not even a bad also it's fine and i hope i have explained everything let's move into the bgmi and this how the graphic settings you get smooth plus ultra if you want you can enable using the gfx tool 60 fps currently i am saying smooth plus ultra you can judge the performance and let's see whether that peak performance will get or not in cpu throttling test we seen so many no lag or anything as of now but while playing in classic matches you might encounter some of the lags not just this rom or any any rom you will get the lag just see how stability is this rom and the output from speakers are not loud enough it's fine i am i mean i am comparing with mi u and mint version i kept that as a benchmark in order to get loud music I'll come back. It's fine. The gameplay, everything is fine in this room. But this under twelve widgets. Let's check once again. Is there or not? Clock. No, you won't get any under twelve type widgets here. And let's check the charging animation. just you will get this basic information in this rom and charging speeds are also normal you will be notified there and uh, that's all guys i hope i have explained everything and if you are first time to this channel hit that subscribe button and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like and uh, this all the recent apps ram management is also fine you can take screenshot from here and as you can see the ram management is very good you can take screenshot from here this is octavio s 3.2 on this poco x3 flashing guide bugs features performance battery life everything and thank you for watching guys we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now